AI is only as useful as the data that you feed it. And like one of the unique value propositions of real is that we get to feed it data about our, our transactions. Well, like what is like, what are the unique insights that we get from having this unique set of data that we get to feed our AI? I mean, just think about like all the data, like I'll give you an example. A customer is talking to Leo and says, oh, I have a Tesla, I need an EV charger. You're not going to put that in a CRM. Yeah. yeah I, as far as I know, most people don't put EV yeah. charger in the CRM. But, but you do put it in your brain and the next time you find a house, you, you remember, oh, this guy's looking for an EV charger. This home, I can tell them about it, right? ARM does that for you. So automatically tags, tags that element in your profile and then uses that to nurture the lead. And you mentioned that current like MLSs and Zillow is kind of dependent on what keywords you put into your description. And that with this new uh, Leo for Buyers, it's going to actually look at the images and be yeah. able to tell from the images what it's looking at. Can you talk about that a little bit? So images have data, mm -hmm. right? Um, and realtors uh, will do a good job of descriptions, but like enjoy the glorious sunset is not, yeah. you know, it's not helpful. <laughs> for a buyer who has very specific needs, right? Like you can, you can talk about the glorious sunset when you meet them and when you're in the house, but you don't talk about it when you're searching. The photos that you upload tell us a lot. So we analyze them, we look at them, we extract information out of them, and all of that becomes available in your implicit searching. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna search by the things that we look for, yeah. but you might say things that will surface those things.